Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Channel and welcome to episode 65 of Game Programming. So today we're going to take a look at a very, well, a way better way of handling collision basically. It's way more advanced and um, I'm not going to cover it in too much depth, but I'll roughly show you guys what it is because I had this idea, right? A lot of you guys really want me to get on with this game, right? You don't want to spend me, you, you kind of just want to, you know, I guess have a product that you can um, play around with and, you know, you want me to implement all the basics for you so that then you can... Well, I would hope learn from it. Um, so what I've been thinking is I'm probably just going to do that. So what I'm going to do with this series, I'm actually going to split this series into two different series. Um, and bear with me, I think this is a good idea. Um, but I'm again, like I think this is a good idea. You guys are going to let me know by leaving a comment below. But um, basically my idea is to split this game programming series into two series. There's game programming, which, yep. And then there's game programming in depth. Right, which is the other, I guess, spin-off series that I'm gonna create from this. So what, what my idea here is that this series right right now will basically just be um I guess a much more concise version of just game programming. And in other words, I'm we're, we're gonna continue making Realm of the Mad God. Um and I guess one of like just really concise, right? So I'm I'm not gonna get into in depth, I'm not gonna talk about how everything works, I'm not gonna go over the math for you, I'm not gonna draw you guys diagrams in paint.net. Sorry, that's over. Um, I'm basically not going to do any of that stuff, but instead I'm going to just basically speed up the development process and um, get as much code down as possible. It's still keeping episodes, you know, 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, <laughs> I was actually watching episode one, yeah, that's right, the other day, um, and I actually said that I wanted to keep the episodes like three minutes long, but, you know, that clearly didn't happen. Anyway, so the deal is, again, you know, that it'll be 10 to 15 minutes, but we'll actually, I guess, spend more time coding and maybe, um, you know... Basically, just speed up the uh, development of the episodes. And then game programming in depth is basically going to be covering all these concepts that lie behind this game in depth. So that is where I'll crack open paint.net, draw you guys some diagrams, um, show you guys just basically so that like a baby can understand it. So in other words, I'm going to totally describe everything, cover all the maths with you guys, even draw. I'll probably even work out my tablet so that I can... And not like a tablet, like a tablet with a screen, but like those Wacom tablets, the old ones, I guess. They're not really old. But anyway, so that I can like draw you guys, you know, stuff with a pen, basically, and you can see what I'm drawing. Um, and basically explaining stuff, you know, in depth. So that's my idea, right? Splitting game programming into game programming and game programming in depth, where the in-depth version will also, will obviously um be really in-depth, but they'll be on separate concepts. So it, they won't be like, you know, making something from scratch. It'll still be a series, but it won't be like a sequential series. So you don't need to watch one episode to understand another. Um, but yeah, that's my idea. So please, guys, leave a comment below um, telling me what you think. Uh, I think it's a good idea, but, you know, you guys will ultimately decide. But I I'm sure you guys will be happy with it. I'm just asking you guys just in case. But um, yeah, if you think that's a good idea, please express your opinion below. And yes. Anyway, let's get on with this episode because that was quite a long intro. So we're going to cover Collision... Um, we're going to cover a different way to do collision today. So what we have going on right now is, you know, what I like to call, um, I guess, a simple collision. I <laughs> don't actually have a name for it. I was bluffing. But um, this is like the most simple kind of collision that you can do so that you guys can understand how collision works. And again, the way that it works is it basically just checks the tile that we're about to step into. And if it's solid, it doesn't let us step onto it. That's it. Um, but the problem with this is that, um, right... We kind of get this stuff, and it's just, it's not really accurate, is it? Like, you see that we're good here, but, I mean, you know, it kind of just sup yarn. Look at these guys. Sorry, bro, I'm just going to have to quit out of Skype for you. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's get back to this. Um, so, <clears throat> we have this kind of imprecise way of doing stuff, and, um, I, I'm just not really, like, I, it's all right, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's not polished. So what we want to do instead is um, change this into a much more accurate way. And the way it's going to work is right now, as you can imagine, tiles, since we're only checking one location of a tile, where is the center of the tile, right? The center of the tile is obviously in the top left corner because that's sort of where it draws. So in other words, we're, we're checking collision for the top left corner, probably. Um, and that's why we're getting this stuff. When, when you can see that this is the middle of our sprite, when the middle of our sprite actually hits the, like the, the corner here, um, and it's kind of hard to explain, but when we actually collide with this, we sort of get this, uh, this you know, collision, and it doesn't let us go any further. But instead of checking one corner, why don't we check all four, right? 
We'll just check all four because this is a square, it's not a dot. So why don't we do that? We'll just check the entire tile. And that's what we're gonna do um, right now. And that's gonna basically make our collision much more um, precise and just, you know, better. So if, oh, actually not if. So we need to check every single corner of the tile. So how many corners are there in tile? Four. So I'm just gonna make a for loop Ah, uh, get it, four? Oh, I'm genius. But seriously, four in C, and C stands for corner, equals zero. C is less than four, because there are four corners. Um, C++, plus plus. and um, I could have made another joke there, but I'm not going to, but you guys can probably guess what it was. Um, so int x, t okay, so right now, let's just cover this quickly. So what we've got right now is x plus xa uh, divided by 16, which is basically this, right? Just pretend it's this. Um, just to make this really simple for you guys. Because I know you guys love Collision. Every uh, aspiring game developer wants to understand Collision as much as they can. Um, at least that's how I was back in the day, you know, like ages ago, because I'm totally pro now. Um, so this is basically what we've got right now. So instead, let's make int xt equal to pretty much this, right? But we're gonna put two brackets here. x plus xa, right? But instead, we're actually gonna put our code here that will actually dictate the corner stuff. And then we'll, at the end, we'll still divide by 16, okay? That's what we're gonna do. And yt equals y plus ya divided by 16. But the code goes here, right? So in other words, um, corner code goes here. Whoops, hose, no hose. Goes here, all right? That's sort of how it's, you know, working. Um, and we can get rid of this. And we'll move this into the full loop. Okay, so yeah, so we're actually gonna replace corner code goes here with actual code. So what we'll actually say is that, um, and again, I'm not gonna cover this too much in depth because remember, I'm making that in depth theory uh, series instead. So plus c, right, modulus two, because that's how we check for x, for x coordinates, right? We um, it's just c modulus the width, which is two, because there's two dots in a square. Um, <clears throat> so C mod 2, and then we're going to basically multiply by 2 and subtract 1. And this probably makes no sense to you, but I'll cover it in the in-depth version of this episode. Um, and we'll basically just paste this here, except we'll change the uh, modulus to a divided by, because that's how we deal with Y, it's divided by the height, which is 2 as well. Um, and that's basically it, right? That's actually it. So times 2 will just basically make sure that it, oh, it's hard to explain in two seconds, but basically this will just uh, just slightly adjust the position of where the center point is. Um, and now if we actually just, I guess, preview this, we're gonna see a change. Um, and the change that we'll see is not actually ready yet, but it's the basic form. So we get this, we get this, all looks cool. So again, a few things that we can change now. Um, first of all, we're kind of halfway in the wall. That's a problem. We'll change that in a minute. Uh, but you'll see here that we actually don't, like we've got control now, basically. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the old goodness of Java, and that is pretty much live debugging or hot swapping, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we go down here, that's cool, but what we're gonna do instead is we we'll make, might make that to times 10. So basically, this think of this multiplication thing, this number that we're multiplying it, it's like the width of the collision area, right? Because it's x. So it's the width of the collision area. So if I save this, you can see that suddenly the collision area is very big. We stop here, and we stop here. So it works both ways, right? But what I can do now is I can actually add, let's just say 20 pixels to it. And if I add 20 pixels to it, you'll see that, whoa, like, whoa, it's, it's 20 pixels across. And if we go here, we can actually go all the way here. So if we subtract 20 pixels, it'll do the, other, the opposite thing. So we won't be able to go here. So we wanna sort of find a thing that works, maybe around 10 pixels, because it is in pixels, by the way. Uh, maybe like eight. I'm gonna find something that works pretty well. And you can see that works pretty well. And if we go to the other side, then that kind of works, but you can see it doesn't really, right? It's just a bit too much. So we can still keep A, but we can just widen it to 12, right? And that looks all right. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, okay. So now we can subtract less, maybe seven. And you guys can see that this is kind of um, trial and error, but you can see with this system, we actually have full control over the area that is glidable, so the area that is solid. Um, which is awesome. So now we got this part. Now, what I really like to do with Y is I like um, the player to be able to pretty much the head of the player to go over the tile. So you can see now that if I collide with Y, he's kind of looking over it. So that just gives it more of a 
three-dimensional feel, really. But when he comes to the bottom, I obviously don't want this because now it looks like he's standing on top of it. It doesn't look like he's towering over a tile like he is here. It looks like he's standing like just on top of it. He should really stop here, shouldn't he? So we can just do the same thing, basically. Let's just try 12, you know, for fun. Okay, that's kind of good. Maybe we can subtract 10. That'll make it worse, won't it? Add 10. That's kind of bad. Let's see what it looks like here, though. Uh, it's probably too much as well, isn't it? So let's um, maybe add about three. That's that's actually perfect. That's what this looks like. Oh, there we go. So I like that, right? That's what I like. Uh, we, we can't go past here, but if we go all the way down here, then you'll see um, that, yeah, we tower over it, which is awesome. So yeah, so there we go. Now our collision is basically precise, and, you know, we can adjust things if we need to. So maybe 14. Yeah. Check the other side here. Okay, that's a bit... Oh, whoops. My bad. 14. Hmm. That might be too much. We'll see what it looks like this side. Um. Again, trial and error. Just go through it. Make it perfect. God, I actually got this, like, to the pixel, didn't I? It's <laughs> pretty pro. Okay, that's good. All right, I'll leave it at that. You guys can experiment with it if you like. So yeah, that's really basic overview. You guys probably didn't understand much, but we did get the coder in, and hopefully you understand roughly how this works. We just added this corner system where it just checks for the corners, and if any of those corners is a solid tile, then, you know, if any of those corners belongs to a solid tile, then it actually says solid equal to true, not just the top left corner. So that's what we did this this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, you know, if you guys will want that... Um, uh, what's it called? In-depth episode. Then you just let me know in the comments, and we'll take a look look at what that looks like. I'm gonna probably call my friend on Skype because I feel bad for rejecting him. All right, I will see you guys later. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.